Please welcome Kelly Marie Tran. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, I am such a fan of you. I'm so excited to be talking to you. <laughs> my daughters and I are freaking out that you're here. Um, and there was so many things I couldn't wait to discuss with you. I loved how you talked about that Raya is a warrior and not just a princess. And I did a film called Ever After that was like a spin on Cinderella because we need to be told not to wait to be rescued, but to rescue ourselves and maybe even others while we're at it. So what spoke to you about getting to be Disney's new uh, first Southeast Asian warrior princess. I'm just so excited to be part of a movie, like you said, that's sort of broadening the narrative when it comes to what do people think when they think of the word princess? What do people think when they think of the word hero? And recognizing that I think you've had a very narrow perception of what those words mean. And now to be sort of part of that change and recognizing that Raya, like you said, you know, is a character who very much saves herself and also is working to save a lot of the people around her. I think that is really important and uh, it's really cool to be a part of. I also know that you are the first Asian woman to be in these Star Wars movies. Talk about history. We all grew up on Star Wars and you're the first. I suppose it should have been earlier, but thank you for being the first. Gosh, Star Wars is such like a big thing for so many people and to have been a part of that really meant a lot to me. And I think, um, you know, we've talked a lot about what it means to be the first fill in the blank all of the time. And I think for me, it's, it's really exciting to be a part of, but also uh, recognizing that I, I hope that I'm not the last to be able to do these. <laughs> you were also a first on the cover of Vanity Fair for Star Wars. You are breaking so many important glass ceilings and paving the way for others, and I understand that Mulan, um, Disney's first Asian princess, also a staple in my household, I've seen it a billion times, and we love it, that that was something um, that was an inspiration to you. Yeah, that was such a huge part of my childhood. I think I was nine when that movie came out and it was the first time I felt like I saw someone who looked like me living in these sort of spaces on that sort of scale. Um, and Ming-Na Wen who plays Mulan is, is such an inspiration to me. And um, I actually got to meet her at the episode nine premiere and she's such a symbol of all the things that I, I wanna be. Um, such a such a cool experience. Well, um, Ming Na, are you there? <gasps> Hello. Oh my God! What? I'm doing great. Congratulations on everything. I feel like I'm looking in a mirror, like at, at the younger, because I followed Kelly's footsteps and became part of the Star Wars family. And now she's followed, you know, my footsteps in being a Disney princess. I, I just feel like we have this whole mirror thing going on and I love you know. it. And um, I'm, I'm so proud of you. And I'm also I a geek. So you're going to have to sign my doll. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love that. These are collectibles for a reason because they are symbols. I mean, we're talking about Disney princesses. You are Mulan and Raya. These are the faces, the embodiments, the voices, and the realization of people seeing themselves in you both. And Kelly, I know that you actually got off social media because you were having a hard time during Star Wars because people felt in the cyber world, um, you know, entitled and enabled to say things that were not kind. I would love to ask you guys in the face of what everybody is going through right now in the Asian community, do you have any advice out there for any girl, woman, or any age in between who might be watching this of how to find their superhero strength 
in this time right now? It's, you know, it, I, I think what Drew was asking about the anti-Asian, you know, hate that's out there, I mean, the anti-Asian hate out there is, it, I have a daughter who's 20 and she's going to college in New York. And as a mother, it's a great fear. It's, it's a constant fear. Um, and it, it kind of boggles my mind a little bit that it's happening still. Um, so I really hope your film, Raya, you know, as, as Mulan has done, it crosses all barriers. It's about finding the hero and the heroine in all of us. It's about believing in yourself. And it's also about having compassion and sharing um, the love to fight for humanity and, and fight for what's right. So, you know, all those messages is, is really, really important. And I think Raya is going to provide that for the new generation. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And thank you, Drew, for asking that question. Absolutely. It's a very serious question. And I, I don't, I'm, I'm just also geeking out a little bit about you, Drew. Oh, my you gosh. You have given us so <laughs> much. I mean, seriously, your what? career. It's, talk about storytelling and offering so much joy and entertainment as well as um, just, you know, I, you're my idol. Thank you're you're you. amazing. That so moves me so much. I just want all girls to believe that uh, that we are equal and that we have all the strengths and capabilities and possibilities. So I honor the women who uh, prove that narrative to be true, such as yourself. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Also in honor of bravery and resilience that you guys have shown and everyone, we want to also just contribute $5,000 to the Stop AAPI Hate Organization, an incredible organization that promotes equality and provides resources for the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. And um, that is just, uh, you know, a humble thank you towards an organization that is doing incredible things. Ming-Na Wen and Kelly Marie Tran, Mulan and Raya, The Last Dragon is in theaters and on Disney Plus with premiere access on March 5th. It's incredible. We loved it. And we love both of you.